Hey everyone, so here I'm doing a question from interior chapter of class 6. This is 6.1 exercise, 6th question. The question here is, in each of the following pairs, which number is to the right of the other on the number line? So we have a 6th question to solve. The first one is 2 and 9. So whenever you're writing this answer, you just compare two integers. Comparison means which one is greater. We know that greater number always lie on the right hand side of the number line. So this is suppose a number line or the greatest number. Suppose this is zero. We know that number line when you plot it as the number keeps going towards the right, it will become greater. The value of the number become greater. As a number go towards the left hand side of the number line, the value of the number keep decreasing. So whichever number is greater, it will always come on the right hand side. So you have to just compare them. Two and nine, which number is greater? Nine is greater. So nine will be towards the right side of the that's it. So let's write the answer. So you, you have to just do the comparison, nothing more. So first answer will be 9 will be right to 2. Then next one. So again we have minus 3 and minus 8. Now both are negative integer, which one will be greater? Now on the number line, like I said, suppose this is 0. As we go towards the left hand side, the value of the number decreases. Like if you go more towards the left side, the value, the number will become much, it will become more smaller. So here you can see that minus 8 comes later, like 0 and then we have minus 1 we have minus 2, we have minus 3 and so on. Later we'll get minus 8. So minus 8 is smaller than minus 3. So you can see that minus 3 will be right to minus 8. Right? So this is how we can compare it. So here the answer will be minus 3 will be right to minus 8. Then the next one here is 0 and minus 1. So when you compare 0 and minus 1, we know that negative integers are always smaller than the positive. But 0 is like, uh, it has, doesn't have any signs, so it will be like, uh, let us consider it's greater than minus 1. Obviously, minus 1 comes to the left hand side of the 0. So minus 1 will be, uh, sorry, 0 will be on the right hand side of the minus 1. So the answer will be 0 will be right to minus 1. Then the next one, minus 11 and 10. So minus 11 is negative, 10 is positive. Or positive integers are always greater than minus 11. So 10 will be on the right hand side or, or we can write down 10 will be right to minus 11. The next one, minus 6 and 6. Now both are again opposite. 6 is greater than minus 6. So here we'll get 6 will be right to minus 6. Then the last one here is we have 1 and minus 100. So though 100 is greater but it has a minus sign it makes a number less value. It's, it becomes a smaller number. So minus 100 is smaller than 1. So we can say 1 will be right to minus 100. So that's it. We have done all the question. This was quite simple. You have to just compare the numbers and then you have to write down the statement. I hope this is clear. In case you have further questions or doubts, you can drop a comment below. Thank you so much for watching.